Hi everyone, it's Angela from Clad Fitty, and today I'm sharing how to make a tiny little frog in a bottle using polymer clay and UV resin. So to start out for this little DIY, I have a small little glass bottle with a cork lid and you can find these at craft stores and dollar shops or also online as well. And I'll be using a short wide style. So first I'm going to make the lily pad that the frog sits on. So I have a small dark green ball of clay and I'm rolling that flat between a couple of popsicle sticks. I'm going to start rolling it out. and then rotate it 90 degrees and then roll it again until it's a nice round shape I'm then removing it off my work surface to check the piece is small enough to fit into the bottle Then I'm using a blade to cut a tiny little triangle out of the right side of it, kind of like a little pizza slice. And then I'm using my needle tool to draw little lines on the surface so that it looks like a clock. So two straight lines, one each at 12 and 6 o'clock, then four diagonal ones at 2 and 10 o'clock, and 8 and 4 o'clock. Then for the frog, I've rolled out three balls of light green clay, so one small one and two even smaller ones. And I'm going to stick the larger one onto the lily pad, but before I do that, since it's a ball and it might roll off, I'm going to secure it a little bit more by squeezing just a tiny drop of liquid clay onto the middle of the lily pad. And then just placing the ball on top. So now for the eyes, I'm placing on the two smaller balls towards the sides. Then using my needle tool, I'm blending the bottom of them onto the head so that they join. And now it's time to add the face. So just using a dotting tool to poke some holes for the eyes to go into, just onto each of the smaller green balls. And adding in some balls of light brown. And a tiny little U-shape for the mouth. Then for the cheeks, I'm brushing on some pink chalk pastel. Then to finish, I'm squishing a little ball of vanilla coloured clay with my finger. And adding it onto the tummy. So now that the frog is finished, I'm going to move on to making the little water lily. So for that, I've rolled out seven light pink balls of clay for the petals. 
So four tiny size ones and three even smaller ones. I'm taking each ball and then I'm going to flatten them down lightly with my finger. And then just pinching one end to a point so that they all look like little watermelon seeds. I've then grouped all the larger petals together into a bunch with the four points facing out into each corner. And also the three smaller ones together in the same kind of way. And then taking the bunch of three and placing it into the centre of the four. And then placing the entire thing onto a smaller lily pad that I've gone ahead and made without the little pizza slice cut out. And then once they're both made, I'm baking them in the oven using my package's instructions. And in the meantime, I'm going to make the water for the frog to sit onto in the bottle. So for that, I have a little plastic shot glass, which I'm going to add some UV resin into, just enough to fill the bottle a little less than halfway. And then to colour it, I'm squeezing in a drop of blue resin pigment. I've then put on some gloves and a little safety mask and I'm mixing it through with a toothpick. If you don't have this type of pigment, you could just scrape in some blue chalk pastel into the resin and mix it together. So now that that's all mixed, I'm going to pour it into the glass bottle in a nice thin stream from a height, just to get rid of any large bubbles. And then I'm just using a little UV light to cure it or harden it. If you don't have one of these, you could use sunlight to do this, but just be careful when taking it outside. You want to keep it as steady as you can so that the resin is totally flat and level. So now that that's cured and the clay has finished baking and it's completely cooled down, I'm going to glaze only the frog with some UV resin and leave the lily pads and flower as they are. And then just curing the frog under the UV light so that it hardens. And so now that the frog is all nice and shiny, I'm pouring a tiny amount of uncolored UV resin straight from the bottle right onto the top of the cured blue layer. And then just tilting and rotating the glass so that the uncolored resin creates a thin coating all over it. and then placing it down flat onto my work surface. Then I'm just using some tweezers to place the frog and lily into the jar. And then using my needle tool to move them where I'd like. So I'm placing the frog on the right and the flower on the left. 
and then curing it with the UV lamp so that everything sets and stays in place. So now that the scene is fully cured, I'm painting some UV resin onto the cork, just on the bottom half. and then placing it into the opening of the jar. And then finally curing it one last time so that it seals and also stays closed. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!